want to explain what you've done? Did want you? another Lambo, whatever. <laughs> So we're going yeah. back. We're going back. Really? There's a guy who moved us. I want to catch it. There's a guy in a what? There's a guy in a what? Big automobile. Measure this to our ass. I think it actually has it by a couple of inches in terms of full length. Yeah. But this, you're right. I think it's got. This car's actually got three or four inches on the Diablo in terms of length. The Diablo looks beautiful. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's not mine. Oh, it's, it's somebody else's. It's a Delta. But 
course, but you can see what might be the best example in the world with 3,000 miles. Oh, wow. What? Where is this one originally miles. from? This one was delivered new in Japan. Oh. This and the other, they just arrived together from here. Look at that cloth interior in the back. <laughs> it's, it's actually, it's fuzzy Alcantara in the middle, so it sticks to you. Look at the plastic on the door panels, never peeled off. Look at this. Original plastic on the door panels. Never peeled off. Oh, wow. Whoa. I mean, this thing is Yeah, new. It's, it's brand new. new. This is, these are built for, this was the homologated rally car. Are they all-wheel drive or front? Oh yeah, all-wheel. Yep, all-wheel. Right yeah. Yeah, that's what they are. They're basically I mean, just big spoolie four-cylinder turbos. Basic rally cars. <laughs> I mean, to the point where they go, whoop, whoop, bang, 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 bang. Not, not this version, but mine will. Mine has 550 horse, 504. 504. Ooh, and it weighs what? 2,200. No, I think less than 20. Yes, yeah, 1,040 kilos, which is about 2,300 pounds. Yeah, it's going to be a, a monster. So the Kuntash that you said was over at the other it's place. It's still sitting over there. Yeah, but we'll obviously we'll, we'll, we'll go get it. Let's go get it and bring it Let's over here. Things are ridiculous. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. I can help. It does. Just drop yep. no. Enough Lamborghini in the road. The engine cover is that uh, hard, right? Ke I think this is Kevlar. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You can see the weave in it. I could. I can't even drive this car. Serious? Can't fit. No. I, my head's all here. I Holy hit. smokes! Oh, yeah. yeah. The problem, problem with this, I would never drive it. And I understand, no, I wouldn't, because it's not comfortable for me. Okay. I'll drive the Diablo all day long. But you guys would use it. So you want to want to explain what you've done? What did I do? What I bought you? another Lambo, whatever. <laughs> um, look at this. Look at that. Look at it. Would you just look at it? All right. Here's what I want you to do. Cue the beginning part of Cannonball Run 2. Oh, I and I want you to play the scene where they go and they pull in the dirt lot where the construction workers are and they spray the car down and it becomes red because this is that car. Yeah, there's not much you gotta, you gotta, the body filler always gets you. Always. Yeah. These, these cars, guys, when they were built in the 80s, um, you've heard of Canaba Design yeah. out in California, yeah. Bruce Canaba. Yeah. One time I had a conversation with Bruce about a decade ago about a Countach I was looking at, and the car had all these spiderweb cracks all over the car. And, um, he educated me a lot about these cars back in the day because his dad was a dealer during the Countach era. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, Paulo, my dad spent back then an average of $10,000 on every car as soon as it arrived at the dealership mm -hmm. because of all of the imperfections from the factory. This one, you will see every now and then, you'll see a spider crack here and there, but I, I was I couldn't believe it what he what he told me they went through back in those days because the quality control uh, on the paint finishing mm -hmm. was just really really low. Oh yeah, it's horrible from the factory. Oh yeah. horrible, yeah. horrible horrible. All right, so we got to move a 944.
chill. Is that a factory key pop? Like, uh -huh. No, it's a Clifford alarm system. Well, you used to have an Ungo. I don't know. <laughs> Remember Ungo? No. Oh my god. Yeah, old. Old school. Sorry. It looks so cool. It's just so vintagey cool. And it's, it's so vintagey. I was still 19, I remember these cars. I remember seeing one, I'm like, oh my god, what the hell is that thing? Do you, does it have the uh, little mirror in the flip down menu for... Did you take out? Yeah, that you mm -hmm. can, yeah. yeah. Yeah, actually, I don't know if it's in there. I hope it is. Let's see, the most important thing is in this car right now. Ready? If you flip down the this, does it have is the, the little mirror in there. Yep. Yes, it is. Yep, the cocaine mirror. Yep, the cocaine mirror. <laughs> I never thought after all these years, obviously having a picture of this car on my wall at college to go from it's in my garage. That's a pretty cool all around thing. And then to be able to watch all the different versions of the, you know, scissor door slash whatever you call the current version, they're not quite scissor doors. But anyway, I just never thought I'd have this car in my, in my garage. I'm truly, I'm, I'm humbled by it. It's 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 amazing how you know when you meet your heroes, all of a sudden they're not as perfect, but they're still real cool. Well, this is a definition of not quite perfect and still real cool, without a doubt. I can just imagine Valentino, you know, flying through the hills of um, in, in Italy and and in um, San Agata, like just cruising past the the many vineyards and all that testing this thing because this car was obviously driven by every single car out of the factory was driven by Valentino. He so drove this he drove car. this car. Wow. Having the different versions of all the Lambos now, definitely different feel all around. Um, it, it really shows me the, the actual technology that improves so much between the Countach and the Diablo. Mm -hmm. That's actually, I think, between that and and, and this is the biggest leap in technology. Um, even the Diablo to the Mercy is a big leap, but not quite as crazy as the Countach to the Diablo. Um, obviously from the Murcielago to the as the Aventador is a huge leap, yeah. totally different. You know, you've got Audi, is Audi behind it, so it's a much more technologically advanced car. But yeah, it was a cool day. 
the only thing left now, now we got to get Valentino down here. Yeah, Pollard's going to have runs. Valentino, and we're going to have all four cars signed at the same time. There you go. So Sweet. stay tuned. We have now become, <laughs> I guess, the Lambo channel. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of Lambos. Um, we even, you know, we're even jump starting one in the driveway because my Urus is dead. But you know, that's what happens. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for subscribing. Check out our new merch store. Love you guys. He's gonna attempt. You could go up front. Oh. He's gonna attempt to fit that, Jimbo. Oh, I see. In between the bush and the Civic. No, no, here, I got you, you ready? All Perfect, good. okay, never mind, <laughs> all, all fuels are gone. No one knows where that came from. It hasn't, oh my lord. Uh, it's going through the bush, but yeah, you got it. Glove. Let's just fix that real quick. Did you see it Perfect. shimmy the rear end of it? I did. I was like, <laughs> I thought it was going into it. Hi. Um. Do you, hey. Uh. Did you go past the yellow building that had auto body written on it by chance? Um, it was a big orange building. It's almost impossible to miss. Maybe you also saw. It. He didn't know what building it was, but when I asked him if he had seen a red spaceship, he's like, yeah, I saw it. And I'm like, all right, turn the right foot. I'm the trash man. <laughs> you want it? This is a... I only have two sets of keys for three of my Lambo V12s. I, I mean, one... need your driver's license, buddy. Okay. For the temp tank.